And so I'm just parked up by the Cliff House Hotel, which is behind me there. And we're gonna go on to the Cliff Walk, which I've heard a lot of good things about. There's a couple of uh, sites I'm gonna check out, which is the shipwreck of the Samsung and Father O'Donnell's well, if it doesn't get too late. And as I said before, it's the first time ever I've been to Ardmore. So I'm sharing my first-hand experiences with you today. And here's the entrance to the trail. And just to the right of it, there's a board which tells you about the wildflowers and birds on the Cliff Walk Ardmore. And no cycling too, so you don't have to worry about being knocked over. I want to ride my Hello. Good evening. <laughs> Good evening. And thank you for allowing me to come into your living rooms. It's a couple of old days just gone past me, so I think this must be a light trail and it's favoured by those of the religious type. The sign needs a bit of a clean, but just some information here of St. Declan's Holy Well, which I presume we're going to pass very shortly. But look at that. It's almost like a shape of a cross in that stone there. And a lovely seating area too. Wonder, is this a well? This must be St. Declan's well. Yeah, that's why the sign was just outside it. So we just move forward a bit more. And look at this, it must be the remains of an ancient building. So we'll just go underneath it there. See what's on the other side. The wall on the left has just simply gone. So the stonework might have been used locally for something else. That usually happens in a lot of places. There's another remnants of a cross on top of there, and I wonder if this was part of the kitchen, perhaps? And just to the left of the non-existent wall, there's a fence there, and you can see all the way out to the sea there. Looks like a hidden beach down below. I wonder how you can get to that. Oh, and there's that yacht I saw from afar earlier. And looking back to the beach where we originally were. So you got some good views there of the well, but look at this, look at how amazing this view is looking back. And the sun is still very warm, sweating a little bit, could be the humidity, but I can't complain because the view on this trail is absolutely amazing. This looks interesting down here, but I dare not chance it. I'm only wearing sandals, so I may not have much of a grip going down, but I say it'd be great for fishing and swimming. And moving ahead, just looking at that sliver of light over on the far cliff up ahead. Oh, some steps here to contend with. And a bit of a slope too, taking us higher. Can't wait to see these views. Blow my neck, I thought this was a dead end for a moment. <laughs> It's just a wall, painted yellow, but it's faded. wonder what this was for. Maybe before they possibly widened the path, it was just to allow single person access. Anyway, on we plod, and it looks like some kind of hut in the background. Maybe it's another lookout point, similar to the one we saw in Dunabratton Head on the Copper Coast a few vlogs ago. And just below the hut there, that's it, the Samson, the shipwreck. And we're gonna try and get up close and personal to that shortly. Now here's a view and you can see the Samson shipwreck down below. There's a load of gulls on it too. And I just move up a little bit more. See the coastline there and the path looking all the way back.
And we've almost reached what looked like that hut ahead, but look at this. Just over those golden fields, sunlit. Looks like some kind of mini castle or something. We're gonna have a look at that shortly. Take a closer look at that hut in front of us. Yeah, it looks like a lookout post from the war times, Second World War, that is. Oh, there's a plaque on the side of it. Oh, it just tells you about whales and dolphins of Ardmore. And just next to it, there's a notice board just to tell you about this watchtower. If you just hit the pause button, you can read for yourself. And we're just over an hour away from sunset. And remember, you saw that little castle turret in the background. Well, here it is. This is a pathway to it through the cornfield or the wheat field, rather. Look at that, it looks amazing under this golden hour light. So I'm not too sure what this is actually because I did a quick search online for all I could find with photos, no captions on it, but obviously I'm gonna delve deeper and then I'll put some information about it in the captions. But it looks as if it's in pristine condition. Could have even been built in the last hundred years or so. You never know. We're almost at it now. So let us have a gander. Well, first of all, there's some steps going up. Let's just peek through this window. I don't normally peek through windows, but uh, I had a feeling there was going to be no one in. So I just walked to the top and it's locked up. We can't go in. We're at the back of it now. And that's a view back to Ardmore. We walked to the right there and looking further west, that's towards County Cork. And just on the off chance, I'm walking around it just in case there's anything. Looking at it from behind. Oh, there's another doorway there. We can actually go in. Oh, lots of rubbish. Needs someone in here to help recycle the stuff and some graffiti. This is some interesting art there on the fireplace. Whoever these artists are, put your skills to better use instead of trashing ancient relics. And there's that small castle structure back there, which we just visited. And if you just go in front of it, you shall see this looking down across this fence, a little gap there amongst the cliffs and colonies of gulls down below squawking. I think we're just under an hour from sunset and the heat is still intense, even though temperatures dropped a couple of degrees Celsius. We're coming towards the end of the walk, even though it does continue on quite a bit further, but we just want to get to Father O'Donnell's well, which will mark the end of our trip to Ardmore. And I have to show you that view behind me because it looks amazing with that golden light. And you can see that little castle we visited and I'll just sweep round those purple flowers I think it's Heather there on the side of the cliff oh, I can hear those gold squawking in the background there and there the view in front of me only a little bit left and this is it our final stop for this vlog we finally reached it Father O'Donnell's well I'll just circle around it to give you a bit of a view I'm just going into it here now and you can see where the water comes from just down there below and then it flows into this and the looks of things. Sounds like a babbling brook. Just flows out through here into the sea. So that's just about it for me here at Ardmore in County Waterford, my first time here. Thank you very much for joining me. Don't forget to like, subscribe on YouTube, like and follow on my Facebook page. It's Root Photography, my name's Root. So I'll catch you again. Have a good week. Until next time, bye.